As you can see from the title of this video this is a get to know me tag thank you so so much for the support thus far i just thought this is finally like the opportunity where i can actually like tell you guys about myself like i've been doing a lot of vlogs and and guys and nice so on instagram i did put up something about um like questions that you guys would want to know about me and obviously i'm just going to tell you like a little backstory about myself and you know who it is so i am from durban warmest place to be i'm a durbanite born bred still here um i'm 21 years old i am a student and i'm also working part-time and yeah i'm very forward i'm very bubbly um you can have a good time with me i'd like to believe i'm very funny I mean, not a lot of people say that about themselves, but I'd like to believe I'm like the funniest person ever. Um, I have a very gentle heart, a very, a very loving heart. And yeah, I think that's just like the basics about me right now. Um, yeah, so let's get on to the questions and I think things will just unfold. Um, so I have a question about where I'm from and Durban. Um, hi, which high school did you go to? I went to Durban Girls High. Um, hope you're well. Okay, someone was just saying they love my YouTube. Um, when are you coming to Josie so we can go out? So the backstory with that was that I actually did want to relocate to Joburg this year, this year, but so I was like, so, but I'm still young. Things can um still change another question is what are you studying i am studying a bachelor of arts in um dramatic arts and media studies um at the time i really did enjoy the discipline um the arts of course yeah it was a really big love of mine right now i don't know i can't be guys like what the this is a lungi um someone just asked if i'm open to new friendships currently i'm not in a space where i could be meeting new people i'm still kind of confused about the things that i like myself so whoever's in my circle right now that that's about it i am not in the business of creating new relationships none of that like i'm i'm good i'm good okay if it happens it should happen naturally but i'm not actively looking for friends um okay next page mm, okay where do i install my hair so i'm not very loyal guys when it comes to maintenance like i don't always go to the same person for hair or for nails the only thing that i'm loyal to is my waxing which i do at sobe other than that i am the most disloyal person ever i do my nails wherever i feel like like if i see a nice set i'm going to go to that person to go do that set exactly currently I am a rubber base girly, so if you don't do rubber base, I'm not going to. But with my hair, um, I've been popping around, but this installation specifically, I did it at um, 1994. Um, yeah, she's based in Lazi. Just check her out, check her Instagram out. Just, yeah, 1994 and check it out. She's pretty good. Um, how do I handle setbacks? Currently, I'm going through a setback and I'm actually don't know i guess i'm just taking it like one day at a time i'm trying to not be sulky or you know upset because like everything happens for a reason and right now as much as like i'm the type of person that plans like my life really ahead of time like i know what i'm supposed to be doing three years from now so i'm going through a stage in my life where i really don't know what i'm supposed to be doing because there's a setback and it's making me question every other decision that i have for my life going forward like yeah yeah because I'm like, I'm just this person who's like an overachiever. I'm really strict with my schedule and my time. So when things don't pull through, yeah, I need to be right. So 
currently me handling setbacks is me just taking one day at a time trying to find things that will make me be positive about the situation that i'm currently in because there's nothing i can do about it yeah how is your relationship with god so that was a big thing for me this year like um this year for me um when it's one of the things that i put on my vision board was that i really want to reconnect with god currently i wouldn't say that my relationship with god is very good um but i'm trying you know i'm trying it's trial and error it's what works for me what doesn't work for me but i am trying to grow closer to him because he is healing he is love he's acceptance you know he's all the things that i need right now and i'm really trying to get closer to him because i feel like he's he is one of the people that are going to help me get through anything and everything in my life i'm grateful for what he has done for me so far but i am a bit disappointed in myself because i feel like i can do so much better with my connection with him with how i speak to him with how i overall just handle my faith which is quite low at the moment so yeah that that is my relationship it's touch and go so um if you follow me on instagram you'll see that i have a new a new account um for my pre-loved items some of the items are pre-loved some of the items are new items that i kept in my wardrobe for so long thinking i was gonna wear them then i didn't wear them, then i just don't so that's why i created that you know um, most of the items are like small extra small nothing yeah basically everything that doesn't fit me or it's just too short because you know when you gain weight you gain weights everywhere so bam and then it makes things go up and all of that so yeah sizes are like extra small small where do i live i live in durban um, are you still dating if not if not dating why hey um Currently, I'm unavailable. Let's just say that. Whether I get Jola, I know my aunt Jolie, it has nothing to do with any of y'all. Like, I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm just unavailable. Just as in knowledge. I am so unavailable, it's not even funny. Like, I'm unavailable. Jay, I'm going to I'm going to Um, Are you working? Yes, I am working. I'm working part time. Um, yeah. when will i graduate i'm set to graduate very soon i don't want to put a time frame on it because you know how when you pre um when you just tell people your plans some people don't like wish the best for you so i'm planning to graduate soon let's just say that very soon i'm planning to graduate um where do i get my hair so currently where do i get my hair that was the question so currently most of my hair is from precious um precious hair brand so this hair is from precious um my really long curls are from precious yeah i also have some hair from hair trader i'm just a little bit all over the place so yeah do you believe in love i do believe in love i am such a lover girl like my name my name speaks of utando um i believe in it 100 percent i feel like love is literally the most beautiful thing anyone could ever experience it doesn't even have to be romantic love it could be friendship love it could be sister love sibling love it could be god love for money <laughs> Like, I really do believe in the concept of love. It's the most precious thing anyone could ever go through. Um, what motivates you? Currently, my motivation is money. Like, money is what makes the world go around. Money is what makes my world go around. If I don't have money, I am not okay. So, my only motivation to get up in the morning is money. Okay, yeah. Um, what made you join YouTube? Okay, so the reason I created this channel more than anything was I realized like my growth and I like when I okay So when I first started uni, you know, I had like the slow self-esteem and over the years I really like gained up confidence and all of these things that just made me into the person that I am today so I just so wish at the time when I started my channel I was like I wish I had documented the times where I wasn't this confident just to look back and say like things get better you know so this channel for me is like my own personal diary that i'm leading you guys into 
um, which is why I'm taking my time with this channel. I am not rushing myself. I am not pressuring myself. I'm just taking it as the day go, like as it goes, like as it unfolds. I'm not forcing myself to do contents that I don't resonate with, just for maybe likes or subscribers. I'm doing things that resonate with me, just so that when I look back at it, I'm just like, wow, you know. It's 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 not for the. I mean, it can be for the money, but currently, it's it's genuinely just about my own personal experience. So it's just me sharing my life experience with myself so that I can look back two years from now and be like, you were crying about setbacks, but look where you are now. And be able to just visualize that. So it's my own visual diary, basically. That's why I started the channel. Um, how do you handle that weird wave of sadness? I go through that like once a week, um, especially with like goals that I had set for myself that are not reached. And when I feel like the pressure of those goals, like... You know when you don't have a certain thing and you know that make your life so much easier honestly i'm someone who really does know how to like keep to themselves um i'm not really musically inclined but i do listen to a lot of old school music so music does help me to like de-stress but currently my crazy obsession is tiktok like i can be on tiktok for an hour and i can just forget all my problems and then obviously when i'm off tiktok i handle i can i can do better but currently i really don't know how i handle it i guess i just take it as it goes like if i'm feeling sad i'll try and find a way to feel better i'll try and go out i'll try and be outside that's like the one thing that i've been trying to do for myself not make myself because beginning of this year um i was really down i was really upset with myself and i just closed off i was so distant from my friends from everyone i just shut out i wasn't going out and it made me worse so you know, because I'm such a social person, I'm a socialite, I like talking, you know. So this thing of me being so closed off and not having anyone to talk to did take a, a huge toll on me, you know. Um, I hope I answered the question. Give a will be at you guys in at our college. Are you okay mentally and emotionally? So I am in the search for a therapist. I have not started therapy as yet. I've been to like therapy like once, but yeah. And like, I realized how much I needed it that one time that I went. Um, but like I said, like things just need to happen in my life. So that, like a lot of things can get easier, you know? So I am in the search for a therapist. I wouldn't say I'm like, okay, mentally or emotionally, but I'm trying, you know, I'm taking it one day at a time. Um, but I'd like to reach mental and emotional peace. That is just something that I need to conquer this year. Mental and emotional peace. I need to really work on my trauma, my hurt, all of that BS. I need to work on that. Um, what made you stop my channel? Already answered that. How do you move on from a friendship breakup? So I haven't had that in a while. I feel like I reached a stage in my life where it was like, I just concluded to myself, Uti, if you are not meant to be in my life, you won't be. You get what I'm saying? Like the last friendship breakup wasn't even a breakup. It was just me deciding for myself, Uti, this is where I am placing you in my life. You know, I am not in the business of beefing with people. If you are beefing with me, you are beefing by yourself. Best believe. I am not like if I hear Uti when I'm in Nam, I will be so shocked because be like, I got like that's that's just where I'm at. That's the tip that I'm on right now. So I haven't had a friendship breakup in so long. I don't even yeah, I'm yeah, I'm not in the business because also when we became friends, guys, we do not sit down and say, Okay, okay, go. So now why must we break up as if she signed a contract when we started becoming friends? So, yeah, I'm not in the business of having friendship breakups. Like, if I have a fallout with a friend, we talk about it, we deal with it. If you are my friend and you know how I am, and we are not talking about it and we are not dealing with it, then I'll just move away gracefully out of that situation. Yeah, I'm not in the business of doing all of that. I have so much going on to be dealing with toxic or just unpleasant situations with friends. Yeah, no. Mm. How's life after matric? Oh my goodness, it's so good. Guys, I hated high school. I hate high school with everything in me. I would never want to relive any moment in high school except the day that I got my matric results. That is the only highlight of my high school career. Yo, I hated high school. I was a loser. Life after high school, child, it is the best. Best believe. I love it. I got a bag. I'm doing my own thing. Yeah. Yeah. Besides the fact that 
no, Futsi, there's nothing wrong. And <laughs> yeah, no, I wouldn't. Scholar, I do not recommend. High school, I do not recommend. Um, skincare routine. Um, you'll tell me in the comment section if y'all want that. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys. My skin is genetically really good. Like, I'm just taking care of it because I know Futsi, over time your skin deteriorates. So that's the only reason I even have a skincare routine. But like a year ago, I was just washing my face, going whatever. Jay, I, I don't have a routine or anything. Currently, I am trying to use like vitamin C serums and sunscreen, you know, trying to really just make sure that how good it looks now is maintained. But I, I, I'd be lying to y'all if I said, you know, I had bad skin or uh, no. But tell me in the comment section, I can have a whole um, feminine don't know about me and what I do and how I do it. But yeah, like I'm into vitamin C's right now. I'm into sunscreen. Um, yeah, I'm using CeraVe face wash. I'm using the Eucerin sunscreen. I'm using the vitamin C serum from um, the body shop. Yeah, that's like my current, I'm trying to get used to retinol at night. Those are like my current things. But Nakona, I'm not very consistent. So that's why I'm trying to be like extremely honest with how much I'm actually taking care of my skin. Um, money and what else makes you happy? I need some money, man. It equals all of these many things in your life. Okay, I'm kidding. Um, traveling. When you are traveling, as much as it's very short-lived, because when you come back to reality, go back long. But traveling is, oh, it's just such bliss, especially when you have the money. Like, as in, oh, no, and you're free, you're doing whatever, however, you don't even ask the price. Traveling is really like so ther therapeutic. I don't know if you guys saw in my on my Cape Town vlog, I was just so carefree, I was so good, I was so happy to be where I was. Like, traveling really makes me happy because it's just all these memories that you're creating all these new things that you're experiencing it is such an escape from reality you see a different life and you know you're living a different life from what you're usually living so it's just so amazing mm. 10 out of 10 i want to do that when i have real bag like just travel chase the sun that is my ultimate life goal i want to chase the sun i just i want to be chasing the sun chasing summer <laughs> not the sun okay i want to be chasing summer all my life guys all my life i want to be chasing summer how old am I? I already answered that. Where do you see yourself in three years from now? Chasing summer. Okay. I want to be traveling the world. I want to have real bag. I am trying to get into business right now. I'm not going to share too much on that. But in three years from now, I want to be good. Okay. I want to be real good. I don't know what career I'm going to be in, but it's definitely going to have money. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, what I'm blind reacting to these questions, so that's why I was not funny to this long. Bala is a Zulu, Ukulama is Zulu, it's Miss Master Kill. Me, I'm a girl from Natal. I know Zulu. What is my middle name? Oh, actually, my middle name is Ulu Pelele. My first name is Uesile. Esile Lu Pelele, Nswakele Nzobu. I am actually Sutu girl. But that's a whole nother story for another day. Oh, that was so quick. Nani ni abora on Instagram nga funjo kung buza imbuzo. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to do those things, like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever. You all know, you all know the drill. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It was quite short. I'm not into short videos. Um, but if you want me to do this again, please do feel free to hit me up on my Instagram, send a comment on my YouTube, and I will definitely be around send those things but yeah um till next time bye